Hey guys, this is Viraj Kamdar with V Physique. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Today, I'm talking to you guys from the W Hotel in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles. I actually flew in from Chicago this morning, pretty early 7 a.m. flight, and so it's been a pretty long day for me. I'm actually a little sweaty right now. I actually just finished um, a hotel gym workout today that I was taping for you guys. Um, in today's workout, I wanted to show you guys how with just one set of 20 pound dumbbells, you can get a great and effective workout in. You know, I really work my legs, my back, my shoulders, my arms, chest, everything is burning. So I'm really excited to show you guys five training principles that I incorporate into my workouts to, you know, get a great workout in when you're really limited on equipment. So this is the start of a hotel gym mini series. You know, I'll be releasing more videos like this, um, talking about different principles, showing you different, um, you know, hotel gym setups and how you can really maximize the equipment you have at your disposal. But for today's workout, one set of dumbbells. That's all it takes. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so there are five training principles I like to include in my workout. The first training principle is time under tension. So with time under tension, basically, you're really focusing on increasing the intensity of your workout. So you're gonna make sure that you do nice and slow repetitions, and furthermore, you're gonna really limit your rest. We all count the number of reps we do, we count the number of sets, but to really improve your time under tension and really increase the intensity, you wanna count your rest. Keep them to about 30 seconds to 45 seconds tops, um, you know, really pump the blood in those muscles. So that's the first principle, time under tension. The second principle is larger volume. So when you only have one set of dumbbells, um, and especially when you're only 20 pounds, you know, for if you're working your arms or your shoulders, you know, that might be the appropriate weight for you. But, you know, if you're working your legs, your back, your chest, some of the larger muscle groups, you know, the weight might seem a little bit light. And since we're limited on increasing our resistance, um, the way we get a great workout in is by increasing our intensity and by increasing our volume. So for this workout, we're gonna be including a lot of supersets and giant sets. Supersets are, you know, doing two different exercises back to back, but no rest in between. Giant sets are doing three different exercises one after another with no rest in between. So that's the second principle. Increase the volume in your workout. Now, the third principle is working your auxiliary muscles and your weakest muscles first. So what I mean by this is, let's say you're working your chest and you only have 20 pound dumbbells. What you really wanna do is maybe start off with your upper chest because it's a little bit weaker and then hit your mid chest um, towards the end. So as you'll see in this workout, we'll be starting out with some flies and then you know we'll be doing some hack press. And then lastly, we'll be um, reducing the incline on our bench and then again hitting some more flies and some flat bench. So work your auxiliaries first and then your compound movements. This helps pre-fatigue the muscles and then those 20 pound dumbbells are gonna feel like a lot of weight. It's gonna get heavy pretty fast. So that's the third training principle, auxiliaries and weak muscles first, and then hit your compound lifts. Now, the fourth training principle is muscle isolation and unilateral training. So what do I mean by this? So basically, when you only have you know, two 20 pound dumbbells, it's not a lot of weight. And one way to kind of increase the resistance a little bit is to really do one arm or one leg at a time. So that's unilateral training, you know? If you're doing bicep curls, you're only doing one arm. So you get that mind-muscle connection and you can really focus on a burn in one arm. If you're doing legs, you know, you might, might be doing Bulgarian squats, just hit one quad at a time. Now, what I mean by muscle isolation is, that's the second part to it. Um, if you're hitting legs, 
a lot of times people do squats and the standard squat is making sure you have your knees behind your toes and you're really going you know past 90 degrees to really work your quads hamstrings and glutes and you know that's great when you have a full gym and you know when you're doing those compound movements but when you only have 20 pound dumbbells you want to break that leg muscle group into its different parts so make sure you train quads separately from hamstrings and separately from glutes as you'll see in this workout video um, for a lot of my movements i purposely put my knee a little bit uh, you know ahead of my toe or in line of my toe i also like to bend over a little bit more that puts more tension in my quad so that's how i like to isolate my quads and then what i do is i isolate my hamstrings separately so that's the fourth training principle the last principle that i like to include in this type of workout is using different muscle and exercise variations to basically shock that muscle group what do i mean by this um, one quick example when you're trying to work out your lats typically we do a lot of pull downs and we do you know pull ups uh, that's one way to work the lats but when you only have one set of dumbbells and they're only 20 pounds you have to get a little bit more creative so one variation that i like to use to work out the lats is doing dumbbell pullovers and then supersetting these with more um, dumbbell rows but the variance that we have is we're going to flare our elbows out so we focus more on the lats and we're going to make sure that our hands are more extended instead of bent this is just one example of a muscle variation that we can use with dumbbells that we usually don't use when we have a full gym accessible to us so those are the five training principles. Just to recap, the first one is time under tension. The second is using more volume in your exercises. The third is working your auxiliaries and your weaker muscles first, and then focusing on your stronger and your compound movements. The fourth is focusing on muscle isolation and unilateral training train one side and one part of that muscle at once, burn it out, and then focus on the other. And lastly, utilize different muscle ver exercise variations than you use in your normal split. You gotta think a little bit more creative, um, but you know, you'll be able to get the job done.
that's the end of our workout today. Just one set of 20 pound dumbbells. That's all it takes to get a great workout in, especially if you're like me and stuck in a hotel gym. If you learned something new or if you like this type of content, please, please, please give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Make sure you also leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to see what type of exercises you include in your own split while you're on the road. And lastly, make sure you click that subscribe button. I like to put out content on a weekly basis. So make sure you also let all of your road warrior friends know. Um, and click that subscribe button and you'll be the first ones to be notified when the next video goes up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,